Director James Comey will appear before the Oversight Committee this morning. For more on that, let's bring in Steve McMahon, Democratic strategist and co-founder and CEO of Purple Strategies, and Tony Frado, managing partner of Hamilton Place Strategies. Um, Steve, let me, let me start with you. I, I understand, for me, I understood what, what uh, Director Comey uh, did, I think. It, it, I, I've likened it, as other people have, to uh, Justice Roberts, not wanting to uh, to be the news of, uh, you know, not wanting to, to uh, you know, stick a, a dagger in Obamacare, wanting the voters to do it if it ever happens. And I think Comey is going to let voters decide as well. I'm not sure, though, Steve, that, that the FBI, which is in the business of deciding, you know, whether something is against the law or not, really, and, and, and then the prosecutor can decide whether you can make a case, He's, for the first 14 minutes, he seemed to present evidence that the law was broken. It was that, that's a little, that was the take a lot of people had. Was that your take, Steve? Well, I think he presented a lot of evidence that, that the law is maybe loose with respect to what the expectations are. And, and, and it, you know, it, it, it will tolerate these kinds of, of uh, circumstances. And I think he probably would expect Congress to tighten it up in some respects. Yeah. I mean, you know, Hillary Clinton has made the point many times before that, that what she did was not unique or the first time. Um, now, obviously, there were rules, and she should have done it differently. She said that herself. But I don't think there was a lot of news there. He did lay it out like a prosecutor. But remember, he was a prosecutor for a very right. long time. He was a former U.S. attorney. And he served in the George but, W. Bush administration, so he's Steve, a pretty the, respectable Steve, guy. Steve, the de facto, uh, if you read the statute itself and you, and you align the statute with what he presented in the first 14 minutes, it was against law. But that's the letter of the law. Well, and no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The statute requires, I'm a lawyer, so the statute requires okay. intent. And I think what he found she, was that there was carelessness, was, there was extreme was, carelessness. She got a private but, server to, 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 uh, <laughs> to make sure that, I mean, she did... The intent was she wanted it kept secret, and so I don't know. She did want it. She did. She did want it kept secret, but there has to be intent to violate the law with respect to classified materials. And what he found was there was no intent. There was carelessness, maybe extreme carelessness. Right. But he also found that no reasonable prosecutor would prosecute no, this case. Not, and it's not further, the same yeah. if I run a red light because I'm careless. Can I tell the cop that I didn't intend to do it? It's not the same thing. Am I conflating things that aren't? Or if I it's, leave it's my a kid? You're, you're, you are conflating, you are okay. conflating things because if right. there's a picture of you doing it, there, he, there were five mitigating factors, each of which he went through, all of which, by the way, applied in the Petraeus case, or many of them did, yeah. and they didn't apply here. He said that they can't find a single instance of a prosecution with this set of facts. And I think Chaffetz and all the clowns up in the House of Representatives today are going to get their clocks clean because James Comey is much better prepared for this than right. they are. Well, you know, I, having James Comey as competent and as good as he is was not a favor to your candidate. I can tell you that much yeah. just from watching that uh, well, 15 minutes. Well, but having, him, states, so. but having him reach the result, having him reach the result that he did was, okay. it, it's, we, we he, the guy Bill, has been Bill beyond Daly reproach it, his Bill entire Daly career. Kept calling it, Bill Daly yeah. kept calling it an exonerator. Yeah. <laughs> he not, kept not, saying not it was an exoneration. It was like Baghdad Bob was right here. We got him on the well, run. They're he, at the gate. Bill Richardson. Here's, Bill Richardson. Here's, here's, what, it here's, oh, here's Bill, what it was. Oh, Bill Daly. Here's what it was. 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 It was finality, which the Clinton campaign right. needed. Exoneration, it was, Tony. It, was, it, came from, it came from a... Oh, go ahead, Tony. I'm sorry. Uh, no, but I, I hesitate to go to Tony at all, because I, I guess I'll let Tony talk about Hillary Clinton as long as you don't get on the, the Republican, because you and Steve are, you know, I don't know who's worse for Trump's prospects. You, really, <laughs> Tony, you, you remind me of... I, I'm trying. I'm try, we, 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 we might be in the same way as Trump, but, I, but I'm, the, I'm the guy who actually gives, you know, tens of thousands of dollars of my own money to support Republicans, Joe. All right, so, all right. No, but I, I was I, looking up what, what the yeah. establishment Republicans are. So he's got more votes than, than any other Republican. And I found there, there are more the, people I than, the, than, than right, there were. I, I know, uh, but I found, the, I found the dodo bird. And I okay. said, is the dodo bird extinct or is it... And it actually is extinct. You're not extinct yet as an as a establishment Republican. But do you no. know why the dodo bird went extinct? Because it didn't have any competitors, so it never had to fly on the do island you, of Madagascar, so it lost its ability to fly. You know how the establishment got to be established, Joe? I by, watched by, it happen. By, and you by, apparently by, missed it, Tony. By, by winning <laughs> elections, we, 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 we got established by winning That's elections. That's a very good point. So we'll, we'll see the test. And, and I worked for well, the guy who, have, who won, I, I, who I won the only popular. I must have missed what happened with McCain and Romney and the first Bush. I don't know. I, something. I, 
So I worked for the, on the I worked for the guy in between them. I worked for the guy in between them who won those elections. So I know and ushered in yeah. the, the God. Uh, I love this. And this ushered is, in the Barack Obama uh, yeah. era. Anyway, Tony, when you say things like the the vice presidential field is slimming down for Trump only because most normal Republicans are running as quickly as they can away from him, and the only two people that might accept that are are Gingrich and Christie because they have no future in politics anyway. That doesn't sound like a guy that, that's going to oppose Steve on, on, on our show, on The Viewpoint. Uh, well, look, I mean, I, I, I could oppose Steve, Steve on, 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 like basically on everything, on, on everything he said about, uh, about Hillary Clinton's handling of, uh, of this situation and classified material. As someone who's, who, you know, has had to handle classified material and been trained on it multiple times and uh, understands it. Her, her, you know, position on this was completely untenable and really misled people and the media. Uh, uh, consistently through it, and I thought the case that uh, Comey laid out was pretty devastating. Whether it's something that he that could be prosecuted or should be prosecuted, that's a different uh, that's a different point. Right. But I can tell you that this idea that you know she, she didn't she didn't know what she was doing uh, is just was just not not tenable at all. There's this culture of paranoia around the Clintons that they feel like everyone's out to get them. But the truth is, you know, everyone's out to get everyone. That doesn't mean you get to make up your own rules and, uh, you know, set up your own systems outside of the system that everyone else uh, has to comply with. So I thought it was pretty devastating and damaging uh, to her. I know, mean, look, I, I still think odds are that, uh, you know, Secretary Clinton ends up winning, uh, winning this race, but she's, she's crippled and crippled as a candidate. Yeah. Well, by the way, listen, I haven't been a huge apologist for Hillary Clinton on this thing, but there's a question about what she knew and what was important in, in, uh, about it. So, for instance, she definitely knew she had her own email system, but so did previous uh, secretaries of state. She, yeah. she probably knew, Not and, and it, sounds like, it sounds like she should have known, it sounds like she should have known that some of the material passing through that system was classified, yeah. but there's no evidence of intent. So, I mean, no, the law requires very specific things, and we live under, still, a rule of law in this country, yeah, and not just a whimsical kind of one of the Republicans in Congress the former, Even the assistant director of the FBI, the former assistant director of the FBI, who was with us yesterday on this program, said that extreme, extremely careless and, and negligent are identical twins. I think those yeah, were his there's exact a new category. Words. Well, they're, yeah. they're not as a, as a legal standard. By the way, as a legal standard, they're absolutely not. James Comey is the director of the FBI, not the former assistant director. A and B. He's a former prosecutor. He worked for Rudy he, Giuliani. He, he brought down the mob. Understand. You he keep, prosecuted you keep Martha she Stewart. Didn't intend to break the law. That's never been the issue with intent. She intended it is, to it's install exactly the server. Issue. She intended to send the email. Of course she did. I mean, you can, you can get out of every crime how many you lawyers, ever commit how many by saying, lawyers, I didn't mean it, how many lawyers I didn't are in intend segment today? to. How many uh, lawyers are part uh, of this uh, conversation ma today? Maybe you you're the only lawyer, but, lawyer but, but maybe you're the only lawyer, but, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm the only person who is trained in handling classified information. And the thing you need to understand but was... Have you, have you trained oh, in just, prosecuting I'm cases, sorry. Tony? Sorry. No, no, and I'm, I'm saying prosecuting is a different standard. What I'm telling you, you say, talk That's, about intent, hold on just a second. She is a lawyer, and she has been trained on how to handle classified information. Her view that as a secretary of state, that she can make, can produce communications that uh, that aren't classified is bonkers <laughs> she is her communication if she relays a communication of her conversation with an, uh, a head of state of another country that is implied classified so it so you know yeah I, I think okay. she's taking advantage so, of Tony. people who do not understand what classified means well so but but here's here's Last the question that James Comey was asked here's Best. the question James Comey was asked to answer which is was there evidence that, that laws are broken here that should be prosecuted? And the answer is that he reached a Republican from George W. Bush's administration, who's also trained in who's handling classified material. Yeah, the I, conclusion I, I, he reached was no reasonable prosecutor would bring this case. Right. He was a hero to the Republicans until yesterday or two days ago, and right. he's going no. to savage them on I, I, the I'm look, let me, let me, I'm an admirer of James Comey, and I'm not being critical of him. I, look, I think he made a decision that he was not going to be the one to right. completely upend a Thanks. presidential race and make that decision on right. his own. Right. He said, right, I'm going to present the case to the people.
Yeah. Hey, Tony. Well, uh, I think he made it. That's well, not can, the way he explained yeah, it, Tony. Got, so you yeah, can, you can suggest can, he's lying, but I don't believe he is. I gave you tough love, You can love, imply Tony, he's then, lying, but I don't believe he is. Then you rose to the occasion, Tony. <laughs> you did, man. You rose to the occasion. Thank you. Uh, you, you saw the classified, so you were very useful. Thank you. I, I, uh, tough love. See, I lit a fire. <laughs> thank you. And, uh, Thanks, John. And Steve, uh, th thank you. We, uh, we appreciate it. Tony and I still agree about Trump, by the way. <laughs> Indeed. We'll All have right. you back on Saturday. Thank yeah. you. <laughs>